Hi, it's Sue from Garden Moxie. Today is April 30th, 2023, and this video is the first tour of the garden season. My garden is located in southeast lower Michigan. It's a zone 6A. Springtime in Michigan is a fickle thing, so the fact that the leaves on this Japanese maple aren't frost damaged makes me very happy. We had a really bad ice storm that really took a toll on the white pines that are on our property and also my neighbors. And you can see the trees are looking really bad. And one of the trees in the front actually needed to be removed. I know all gardeners love spring, but I love this time of the year. There's just something so fun about going through the garden and seeing stuff poking its head up in the soil and all the new plants and all the new buds coming out on the bushes and the shrubs and the colors look so fantastic and I love the buds and the little flowers and it's fun when you see the bumblebees for the first time and just really get to take it all in. Besides the ice storm damage, everything seems to have made it through the winter. A couple of the boxwood are showing some signs of winter damage, but I think they'll be okay as we move into the growing season. I've reseeded some of the turf and it's so great to see all the new leaves popping up in the garden. And by far, I'd have to say that my favorite area right now is this little patch of woodland garden. I've been little by little adding more spring bulbs every season, and this year I think it looks really pretty. The hornbeam hedge has dropped all of its brown leaves, and you can see here that all of the new shoots are starting to grow. And these are one of the flowers I'm really excited to see this spring. This is Palmineria silver bouquet, and as you can see, even the bumblebee is happy that it's in the garden. I had to transplant these plants from the front yard. I had them originally planted under the big tree, but the root competition was really causing problems, so I moved them here into the shade border, and look at how beautiful these look. The birds have definitely been enjoying the bird bath. I get such a kick out of seeing the birds in my backyard. I always know that spring is here when I get to see the leaves of the variegated hostas poking up through the soil, so that's always a sight for sore eyes. One of my spring projects is just reseeding this small section of turf here because it is in a really bad state. And then in the background you can see I have uncovered, untarped the fountain and is as true to, as is true all the time every time i take the tarp off i think within two days it snows so it happened again this year which is just hilarious yeah so i took the tarp off on april 15th and you can see here in this photograph on april 21st it snowed you remember me saying spring was fickle in michigan so it snowed on the 21st and now we're here on the 30th of april and everything looks right back to springtime again thank goodness now I want to show you something really exciting along the side yard. I took some cuttings of a white lilac tree that I've been training into a standard form and you can see the little tree here. And this season is the first season that I'm actually getting some blooms on it. At least I've got buds for right now. So as long as we don't get a frost, I think that this is going to be the first year that I get to see this bloom and I am so excited. And as we keep walking along the side yard, uh, there's another thing that's super exciting to me. A couple years ago, I bought this tiny little magnolia tree at Home Depot, and this season is the first season I got tons of buds on this. Another beautiful spring blooming tree that's blooming in the backyard is this weeping cherry. I got this as a small sapling from my dear friend Tonya. Every time I look at this tree, I think of her and just think of how funny it was. I, it was like a little two foot long twig. And every time I look up at this tree now, I'm amazed at how huge it's gotten. And it is just so beautiful during the springtime. I don't know how you guys feel, but that for me is one of the best things about gardening. When you share plants with friends and then every time you see those plants in your garden, you think of those same friends again. That is just awesome. So the last thing I wanted to share on my spring tour here is just to show you some of the plants that I'm propagating. When I trimmed up the limelight hydrangeas, I took quite a few stem cuttings and you can see them here. I'm hoping that these will take this season. I also have three seedlings from the Bloodgood Japanese maple that I'm trying to propagate as well. So as I look out over the patio on April 30th, I'm thinking of all the things I'm looking forward to especially spending time in my garden with my mom. 
My mom loves to sit on my patio, and I usually try to do some kind of garden-inspired project with her. I think I got my love for gardening from my mom, and when she comes over, she says she always feels so happy when she's in the garden. Well, I'm not surprised. As you know, I believe that gardens are more than just pretty flowers. Our gardens are a great place to just rest and escape the pressures of the daily grind. Thanks for joining my first tour of the season. That's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Ooh,